Hey folks, welcome back to the Truth Nerd Channel, where the truth will set you free. Today we're going to take a look at a couple different of the Nibiru Hoaxer All-Stars and talk about a few pictures and videos that's being circulated out there. First we're going to start with that blubbering idiot, Matt Rogers. Is this Nibiru? Because it's red, it's there, it's 100%. You can see this, can't you? Oh my god, I'm totally blown away with this, I really am. I mean, I'm looking at this object now, this is not the moon, this is not the sun, this is a heavenly body that's coming down now on the horizon. You can see this, can't you? I mean, things are changing now, aren't they? I'll tell you what blows me away, is what an imbecile this guy is. You can see it, can't you? Can't you see it? Can't you see he's an idiot? Can't you see it? I can see it. It's clear, it's quite clear. According to his own description, there's something out there, and I couldn't say what I saw, but it was very red and behind the chemtrails. I don't believe it to be a rescue flare at sea. Funny that's the first thing he mentions, though. It could have been the moon, or any other known object, but hey, I thought it was right to show the footage. So yeah, hey, whatever I see in the sky, no matter what it is, I might as well just show the footage of it and scare the shit out of everybody. Oh. And he used a mobile phone, and we all know how reliable those are. And also, it says, uh, if it is explained, then that's okay. Well, who knows? You can't even tell in the video. All you see is something red. Could be something behind a red sheet, for all we know, in his freaking house. Seriously, this guy's just a moron. Speaking of morons... This little ditty right here came out of a telephoto lens yes it's a planet or a star that's out of focus that has been demonstrated by various youtube channels all over the place plus no planet is going to be spinning that fast come on this next one look at this yeah look at that it's a cloud a dark cloud wow here's a couple of pictures from alaska where we can actually see this little teeny red thing which we we supposed to be the brown dwarf yeah because that little tiny red thing just happens to be a brown dwarf up in the clouds really here's a little bit later where you can actually see the red orb yeah the red orb that's see-through in front of the clouds and all over on all the different faa cams no matter which way they're pointing it is a reflection off of the glass housing that these cameras are in. Give it a break. And anytime there's a dog photo, it's pretty much going to make it into my video. And this is the clever dog seeing Nibiru. Yeah, because every microscopic dot that happens to be in front of a cloud is Nibiru. Look at this little refraction here. It looks like that second moon that they talk about. No, that's not the second moon that they talk about. The second moon that they talk about is about the size of a school bus. And it's out like... Ten times further than our moon. You'd never see it. Probably not even with a telescope. And it, it's on the it's on the rim of the housing on the camera. It's not even anything that's in the camera. Dude, are you like losing your mind? Here's a photo from Mike McCrone. And you can see these are unusual shadows. Um, I don't care. You can say that these are clouds all day. Uh, I'm not going to buy into that. No, these are called crepuscular rays or cloud shadows. These are created when there's like holes in the clouds and the sun shines through them and it creates these big long beams of light that comes up there. I mean, they're very common. If you Google search, you're going to find thousands of pictures of these things. It's not anything that's new. And now, on to the speed round. Here's a brown dwarf dust particle. There's some light refraction. There's some more crepuscular rays. There's a cloud that looks like a planet. There is some light reflection on the camera housing. Here's a dark spot in the clouds, probably on a lens. There's a dark spot at the nighttime, dark spot in the daytime. Oh, there's another smudge on the lens. Oh, here we have some more red orb see-through action. <clears throat> Time's up. But what is really getting to me is this very long signature of light coming from Venus. But I've never seen anything like this coming from Venus. This long illuminated tail. It causes me to think that there's a high possibility that maybe 
they just labeled this object Venus? Is NASA deceiving us? Are they purposely labeling this object as Venus when they know damn well it's not? Well, Daz of the cameraman did a search on the Stereo Headcore 2 images and it's definitely showing up as Venus. It also shows up as Venus on the Star Night Pro. So no, I don't think NASA is lying and trying to make everybody believe that a brown dwarf is Venus because it's actually Venus. And it's funny that you use all NASA tools as you sit there and say that NASA is lying to everybody. It's kind of an oxymoron. Oh, moron, like you. Yeah, this is just fear-mongering. That's Venus. <laughs> you said it, not me. Prove to me that that is Venus. Show me concrete evidence this object is Venus. I just did. I gave you two sources. I may be making a mistake in my observations of this supposed Venus planet. I hope I am wrong. Drop me a comment, make your own video. I'm sure some of the trolls will make some videos on, on mine, but I hope you have some scientific evidence to back it up. Well, it's definitely Venus, and the uh, light trailing can be seen even back here in 2015. And also in 2014, you can see Mercury doing the same thing. Heck, here's one from 2012. This is a short clip provided by Jerry Bell. It says here we will see as Mercury enters the frame it will appear to have a light stream attached to it. Then we see Venus will acquire the same light stream as it leaves the frame. This is nothing uncommon for somebody that's been watching these cameras for years as Nibiru 2016 says you would think that he would have seen this multiple times already. At this point, I was going to go on to some Chris Potter stuff, but I can see that his channel's just been pushing the same crap that he's been pushing for months and months, taking all these different space articles of uh, different stars and planets and everything that are like light years away that'll have no bearing on our solar system whatsoever and trying to make them into some big dramatic thing that, you know, the government's not telling us about. So I'll just leave that alone for now. <laughs> in your face, Chris. <laughs> in your face. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Truth Nerd channel. And I'd also like to thank everybody for being patient, waiting for this video to come out. Uh, my kind of job position changed. and There are no more late nights for me because I have to get out of bed at like 5 in the morning now to be at work. And so therefore, it's uh, kind of been early to bed, early to rise, and I haven't had a whole lot of time to do any research or put out any videos lately. So again, thanks for being patient, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>